Hi, I'm Randy Brown, your YRA here on Athlete Instructor. Today's lesson at shortstop is fielding a ball hit to our right, backhanded with the throw to first base. There's six key points. Number one, get in an athletic ready position. Number two, your route and angle to the baseball. Number three, your footwork to field the baseball. Number four, field the baseball backhanded. Number five, your transition into your throw. And finally, number six, make a good strong throw into first base. So back to point number one, get in an athletic ready position. As the pitcher is going into his windup and he's beginning to deliver the ball, as you see the ball travel into the hitting zone, you're going to creep step into your ready position. What this does and allows, it allows for you to be balanced, it allows for you to break on a baseball in any given direction because your first step is the most important and the difference between getting the ball or not is the difference in your jump. So always make sure you're in an athletic ready position. Number two is your route and angle to the baseball. So I'm setting this baseball down to show you a ball's hit to my right. As I go to see and move to the baseball, I'm staying low to the ground. I'm reading the hop. And as I'm reading the hop, I'm judging the speed because the lower I am to the ground, the better I see the hop. And it allows me to set up into my footwork to feel the baseball. So as I'm reading the baseball, I'm moving to the ball, I'm staying low, now I'm picking out the hop that I want to field. Which brings me to point number three, my footwork into fielding the baseball. There's two ways to do a backhand. One is a controlled backhand where I'm playing it into a backhand. And the second one is a ball that takes me and extends me out to my right where I'm fielding the baseball and it's taking me into the backhand. So the first one in the controlled backhand, as I'm seeing the baseball, I'm presenting my glove, my left foot, and as I present my left foot, I want to present my glove. I'm working around the baseball with my right foot, and now as I go to step with my left foot back towards first base, it's putting me in a line to feel the baseball. So the steps look like this. Present here, right, left. Now it's taking me in line towards first base. The second one is the extended backhand where the ball has hit a pretty good distance to my right, and now as I go to the baseball, I'm moving to it as I present. I present on my left foot. I'm going to step. And now I'm stepping with my left foot out in front to feel the baseball this way. So as you're looking at it, I'm presenting. Now I'm ready to feel that baseball. That's your footwork to feel these two baseballs. And point number four, fielding the baseball backhanded. Again, what that means is my glove is rotated with my thumb and my index finger pointed down. So as I get to this ball, that's fielding the ball backhanded. Um, this is the controlled backhand. This is a ball that extends me in to a backhand. And point number five is the transition once I field the baseball. So as I field the baseball backhanded, I'm going to make sure I bring it up to my chest. I'm shifting my weight to the inside of the front knee. I have two options based upon the speed of the runner. If I have a fast runner, I may have to pick it up, come up, make a strong throw to first base, or I can, if I know my base runner and it's a slower base runner, I can pick it up, make sure I gather and get my weight into my legs, take two shuffles, and throw off the second shuffle. And finally, in point number six, I always want to make a strong throw to first base, try to make sure I have a four seam grip, and I want to throw to the outfield side of first base, because if I throw it to the inside part of first base, the first baseman's got to extend out and contend with the runner and an injury can occur. So make a strong throw to the outside part of first base. So I'm going to give you a few examples. First one is a controlled backhand. Creep, get ready. And the second one is that ball's going to take me into a backhand. Plant and make a good strong throw. So remember these six points. Number one, get in an athletic ready position. Number two, your route and angle to the baseball. Number three, your footwork to field the baseball. Number four, field the baseball backhanded. Number five, your transition into your throw. And finally, number six, make a good strong throw into first base. That's fielding a baseball to your right backhanded with a throw to first base.